In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix lag on your PS4 due to high ping or latency. So the first thing you want to do is go to settings and we're going to go to network and set up internet connection. Now, when it comes to using Wi-Fi versus a LAN cable, I always recommend a LAN cable. It's always going to provide a more stable connection and the best speeds, but I'm going to be showing you Wi-Fi because we're going to be customizing some settings. So let's go to custom internet connection setup. And once we see our Wi-Fi network, the first thing we're going to be doing is adjusting the Wi-Fi frequency. So you want to select your network. If you don't know what it is, check the back of your router. I have a custom name. So we're going to press the options button and Wi-Fi frequency bands is the first thing we're going to change. Now, if you have fast internet speed and your PS4 is close to your router, I recommend you go with five gigahertz only. Whereas if you might not have the best internet speed or your router is far away from your PS4, I recommend 2.4 gigahertz as this is going to provide a more stable connection. Now, if you're kind of in between between or you're not sure, you could always go with automatic. So let's do that. Now we're going to be selecting our network. Once you're in advanced settings, we're going to be going to automatic for IP address. Do not specify. And the first thing we're going to be changing is DNS settings. Now there are plenty of free and public DNS servers out there. I'll leave a link in the description as well as pinned in the top comment. But my personal favorite is the Cloudflare DNS. So that's 1.1.1.1 1 .1 for the primary DNS. And the secondary DNS is 1.0.0.1. Another really popular one is the Google public DNS, which is 8.8.8.8 for the primary. And for the secondary, it's 8.8.4.4. .8 .4 .4. Now I recommend trying both and testing your internet to see if it's a little bit faster. Now another thing you could also change is MTU settings. So we're gonna be going to manual. Now do bear in mind for most users, if you have a fast and stable internet connection, the default setting of 1500 is good for most people. However, if you're experiencing issues with latency or ping, AKA lag, lag spikes, I recommend trying 1473. Now, if you're having trouble with packet loss and connection drops, I recommend you actually go a little bit lower to 1450. This will take a little bit of experimenting so you can test different DNS as well as MTU settings, but I'm gonna leave mine on default as I have a pretty decent internet. So next, you just go to next, do not use for proxy server and test your internet connection with these different settings and also test the actual game itself online where you're experiencing these lag spike issues.